Yo! Yo, 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 YouTube! What's going on? Welcome back to my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. As I've stated, my favorite uh, 2D Zelda. We're just getting off. I have the first... The first charm, the first gem. Castle is in trouble. I got to go to... Whoops. I gotta go to the other two locations. Uh, down here in the bottom right. Can I, am I allowed to touch screen? Well, that, like, calibration almost seems off of the touch screen. Come on, you can do it. Not that it's a problem. I don't need the touchscreen here. I don't need the touchscreen as nearly as much in this game. Yo, YouTube and future me. <laughs> All right, let's go. I got for rupees four sixty-eight. I have that bottle yet? No, I do not. Let's head back to Kakariko first. And we got the merge now, can't forget about that. <laughs> Yoo hoo, gully, it's time to come home. He must not be able to hear me. Oh, I hope he hasn't gotten himself lo himself lost in those lost woods it, uh, again. The woods that you get lost in. I hope he's not there. I can get this heart piece right away now, right? Hey, yeah. Not like that. Maybe. Love you. Okay, I have the bottle. Now I can talk to me, guy. That quake earlier got all my little bee friends a buzz. I was a bit scared myself. <laughs> Can I? Yeah, he's a bee guy. Yay, now I have net. Now I can catch my own bees. <laughs> I think I can sell them to him, and I can catch a gold bee, which will be my friend. He'll help me in battle. Welcome to Cuckoo Ranch. Yes, we're doing this. Hell yes. My favorite minigame ever. <laughs> Why am I so stuffy today? Distracting. Yep. Just dodge the chickens. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <they're gonna> be... <laughs> that was easy mode. That was the first mode. Yep. That was egg. Now we're chick. Yep. But I win more if I make it. Big chicken. Now the big boys are gonna come. Hmm. They knew what they were doing, because this game feels so good to move around in. Like, the- oof, I failed. Just the degree of freedom I have, how much I can rotate. They knew how good it felt, so they needed a game like this. It feels so much better on an actual, uh, controller, because think we had, we had to use the 3DS circle pad. Oh, yeah. So it's- yeah, it doesn't move, like, it slides. Yeah. Yeah, you know how it works. Yeah, eventually mine had, like, no grip at all. I considered taping, like, sandpaper on top of it just to give it a little grip. Like, I need to find some way to grip my 3DS. Yeah, there's a hard and there's an infinite, which infinite isn't hard hard, but it's, you know, infinite. Just go as long as you can. I think if you beat, like, Yeah. <laughs> da -da. The cuckoos say thank you. Because <laughs> they, they like when I'm playing with them. <laughs> she said the cuckoos say thank you. <laughs> Hard mode. More big boys. <laughs> It actually might make it a little easier, because they're easier to keep my eyes on than the small ones. The small ones can sneak up from anywhere. <laughs> like, under- yeah, they can also- looks like they can go under the big ones because they're faster. Ah. Oh. I was looking at this one. <laughs> Damn. Like, 50 to play? Wasn't even reading. First one was 20, yeah. Whoa. Uh, yep. And I want these ones that... Oh. I want these ones that fly overhead. <coughs> that cost me all my rupees. <laughs> Yeah, I just started the episode. I Well, this isn't my first episode. I played yesterday, yeah. I already cleared a dungeon. And you get a lot of rupees in this game in general. There's no wallet upgrade. They finally ditched the wallet upgrade with this game. Yep. I'm sorry, I hope you feel better. And we're good. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> One, I want, yeah, I got, I got a good amount back. Like I think. Short, then we... <laughs> there we go, a heart piece. I was gonna say, one more for a heart piece? <laughs> Yay. How many times can you play? I think that was the hardest one, and now... We have Endless, yep. Ten rupees. 
Yeah. I think if I last maybe like a minute or two minutes, I get a I get a, another heart piece. I don't remember. I don't remember if there's another prize. All big boys. <laughs> Dude, I mean, this is way easier, because I see them all coming. I can use my peripheral vision. Start small ones, oh no. Stop right there. Ooh wee. That was some f spectacular footwork. I get a hundred for that. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, I made all my money back and got a heart piece. Should have caught that, but I don't have that was a B. Yeah, I have my touch screen down here in the bottom right. But that's mostly unneeded for this game. It's just the map, and then I go to my menu. Oh, with the touch screen. Uh, no, with uh, the mouse. There. How would you use it like this? Yeah, I can use the mouse. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to rush? <laughs> We're not actually open yet. I think I need a shovel? Or no. No, I just need to be further for that. Alright, done with Kakariko. Have you seen Gully? I think he's playing around here somewhere. But I have the strangest feeling, like... Oh, I don't know, call it a mother's instinct. Just keep an eye out for my little guy, okay, RJP? I know where he is. But okay. Oh, RJP. Have you seen Gully in here? <laughs> Wait, did you just find that pouch? Oh my stars, Gully had that. I made it for you so you could carry more items, but he insisted on being the one who gave it to you. If he found it here, then where is my Gully? Oh, how awful. I had better tell my husband. I'm sure we can find it somehow. We have to find him somehow. <laughs> but please, you should use that pouch so I won't have to worry about you quite as much. Thank you. Yeah, I pointed that out in the first episode. In A Link to the Past, your uncle is the blacksmith. Now, the blacksmith, his wife, and Gully just kind of take care of you. You work for them, but you're not related. So it's like, they're like parent figures. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's usually seven or ten years old, is how young Link is, one or the other. But now, what it did is it gave me, I can use Y and X for items, which is, you know, typical Zelda, but it's a little weird of an unlock. 
Just so I have two items I can equip, so I don't need, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I can put one on X and one on Y. That's all it does. Bit of a bizarre uh, power-up or collectible. I think it's a squirrel. Chipmunk. Birdies. They runs away. No, those are guards. <laughs> no, they are evil guards. They're not Hyrule guards. Yeah, they spawned after Yuga took over, who is the antagonist of this one. Come on, you can do it. it has a, this emulator has, has a hard time with transitions. That's why it's all pixelated. I had to turn down a lot of quality settings. So this is as good as it runs. When I first went, like, there's none around here. There's a huge patch of grass in Kakariko, and the game became a slideshow. It just would not run smoothly at all. Like, areas like this, but a lot more. Rendering all that grass. Those are the slimes. Yeah, it's choo -choo's. If I have, I don't have bombs. Oh yeah, you get to meet Ravio. He's already at my house, but... No, we lose to Yuga. Giga. Uh, uh Yuga. <laughs> we get- we lose to Yuga. Ravio kinda takes us away and hides us here, not knowing it's our house. Yep. Yep, this is where he comes from. My bracelet did what now? Huh, who knew? Pretty neat that you can turn into a painting. Oh, wowie wow, I wish I was you. I wonder if I could steal that power from this weird Yuga guy, too. No, what am I thinking? I'm not cut out for that sort of stuff. I'd, I'd probably screw it all up somehow and get stuck on some dungeon wall. I couldn't bear it. Stuck there forever and ever? Oh yeah, I should leave that kind of tough work to heroes. For sure. <laughs> does sound awful. He's gonna be a very useful later. He's like the core mechanic of this game, or the core idea of this game, but we'll see that later. But, the other core mechanic is this. This is what his bracelet does. Yeah, I'm sure you've, I'm sure you've seen this before, when anyone does talk about this game. And in A Link to the Past... You would have to lift rocks or find portals. Here, the portals are... Nope, not there. Maybe there aren't portals yet, but there's cracks everywhere that you need to slip through. Those are the portals to the other side. Yep. Oh yeah, and because this game is one of them, they let you swing as fast as you can press B. You, had, you know what I had to do. <laughs> the ultimate turbo spin. <laughs> Dare not approach. Alright, where am I going? You know, open that wall at some point. Ouch. Stab. Game couldn't handle my stab. Can you see? You want me to move over a little? That means you. I forget what these fruits do. They might actually be useful. But seriously, sour fruits. One bite will make you squeal so loud you can stun nearby enemies. <laughs> I can stun. Then, a mysterious fruit that takes you to a dungeon's entrance. Ooh, like the mirror. But one use. Okay. Yeah, keep that in mind. I don't need that yet, because these early dungeons are easy, but... 
good to know. I never utilized stuff like that when I originally played. Mostly just potions. Probably how I get decently good at certain games is because I brute force myself the hardest possible way. <laughs> That's how I used to play. I did kill the bee, I gotta catch him. <laughs> right, wait a minute. <laughs> now you saw it, right? That building with the windmill? Oh, now you're gonna say something else? Yeah, you want me to use the D-pad to move the camera. I see it! Now you saw it, right? There's no way to get to that windmill place by land. That's why I learned how to swim. Now I can get there any time, as long as I keep up with my stretching. Hmm? You want to learn how to swim too? I learned how to from the Zoras. I learned how from the Zoras. Why learn from anyone less than the best? Yes, that's right. Zora's domain. You again. Huh? Those are rocks. Rocks in the water. Hey, hey, you know, you're actually gonna talk to me? Whoa, hold up a second, Greenie. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Someone else wearing the green hat? Not yet. She's already passed me a few times. She kind of teases you in the beginning. Who am I? Haven't heard of me? I'm Irene, best witch of my generation. Still a junior witch, but whatever. Alright, get this. I had my fortune told this morning, right? And I was told I'd soon be visited by disaster. But if I want to change my future, I should take care of green. I was like, green? What, I should take care of the grass? I'm not mowing every lawn in Hyrule. Forget that. I'm a witch on the rise. <laughs> and then you came along. And then it all made sense. I've got to take care of you, greenie. So here, take this thing. Thanks. And seeing those weather vanes all over the place, just ring that bell and I'll fly you to any ones you found. Normally I don't take passengers, but I'd rather haul you all over Hyrule than face disaster. Anyway, gotta fly. I have errands to run for my gram. Later. Her grandma's the potion witch. Oh right, one more thing. Never mind, sorry I spoke too soon. My gram's a world-class potion brewer. Her shop is behind the Eastern Palace. I strongly suggest you go look her up. Her potions can't be beat. Yeah, I've already talked to her. Sweet. Is there a button for that? I don't think so. No, nope. I have to go down and click. Yeah. Okay, thank you. That view, thank you. See if I can fix that real quick. screen is a little off from the mouse, so I wish I could calibrate that, or see where, or how to. Yay. Where am I going? Z Zora's Domain. I know, it's weird today. It's the weather. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Broken. Some guy just dashed by and jumped it, though. Me, I could never do that. 
I suppose there's nothing to do but swim to Zoro's domain. What'd you say? You can't swim? Hey, just like me. We're like brothers, swimless friend. Oh, we're like brothers, swimless friend. And you know what? We both can't get to Zoro's domain either. I can. What a special ability. That's about as special as they come. Thank you. I got a monster gut. Yeah, this game in Skyward Sword is where they started with monster guts and collecting monster parts. actually the same monster guts too this is where they first started i'm sorry i won't bug you much <laughs> this is where the oh it looks just yep from here i think skyward sword came first so that's actually where they started but then they came into here and now breath of the wild i love how they've stayed consistent <laughs> yeah thief Stop! Gee, ouch! Watch where you're going! Wait a second, you're that kid who was giving me the evil eye back in the village. What are you doing in a place like this? Out of my way! There you go, sorry. Controller disconnected. The Queen! The Queen! Please help somebody! Help! Queen is in a sea of trouble. We've got to do something. But what? That guy doesn't even know all the trouble he just caused. It's getting worse by the second. I can't believe that guy came in and stole the smooth gem right out from our from under our gills. That fin the smooth gem. <laughs> That finless jerk probably thought it was just some sparkly thing, but it, but the queen needs it to contain her power. Without that smooth gem, our queen will keep. You gonna explode? She'll keep bloating up. But our poor queen. We've got to get that smooth gem back, or else... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and they ran into a bit of hot water with this scene in particular. Because I think in the original Japanese, they... Uh, the text was more like, she's becoming ugly and we need to make her pretty again. And, yeah, a lot of people took that as fat shaming. So they tweaked the dialogue a little bit to steer away from that. I didn't see it as that right away, but, you know, I could definitely see, I could see how people would, yeah. Especially because when she does come back to normal, she's, you know, thin and pretty and all that stuff again, compared to this. And it's also, I think it's, I think they also say, like, losing the gem has made her eat more, specifically, which is what she did. She just grabbed a fish and ate. But now they're just saying she's bloating up. Just missed it.
Right, off to get this smooth gem, so I can swim. Not anymore, other than the the guy at the lookout landing yeah. that recharges for you. Other than that, no. Oh yeah, I can go get the glove right away too. Do that. Hey hey. These rocks, real pain in the neck. Huh? A customer? Hey, you're that kid who works for the blacksmith, right? Decided you've had enough of that place, huh? Here to be my apprentice, maybe? <laughs> God, just joking. I wouldn't do that to your master. I was on the mountain mining ore when all of a sudden the earth started shaking. When I got home, the place was a wreck. Rocks everywhere. You seen outside? I'll be busting my back for days to clean up that mess. At least picking up rocks and smashing the things feels pretty good. Wish they were full of good ore, though. What? You want to try it, too? Feels good smashing stuff. Hmm? Can't do it? Sorry to hear. Can't stand to see a nice kid like you not be able to throw your weight around. <laughs> Here, take this. It's a hand-me-down from yours truly. Hey, uh, got the power glove. It's so bad. No, get out of here. Gotcha. Add A on turbo. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Purple rupee. And let's be on our way.
Oh, this first encounter is fun. With the fortune teller. <clears throat> Four. Three. Oh, you're here already. It's fate that we have this little chat, but you're a whole two seconds early, RJP. <laughs> I can see the future in my crystal ball, and I have seen that there is a gift in your near future. Very near, <laughs> as in now. Yeah, I know, he's counting. Four, three. I got the hint glasses, which are totally useful. They let me see the hint ghost. What's up, bird? Are you already gonna tell me to chill? It's been like, it's been half an hour. You've been playing for a while, why not take a break? Yeah, the old Nintendo thing they used to do on the Wii and the DS and into the 3DS, Wii U, yeah. Every, at intervals they just be like, why not take a break? <laughs> it's them trying, I guess, to appease to parents. I'll admit, I think the parental controls are a better option. I got the smooth gem. What? You again? You banged into me at Zora Cave! Okay, let's... Hey, nice bell ring in there. You're a natural. Hold tight so you don't fall. See, I'm looking out for you big time. I said it the first episode, every character is like one of my favorite characters in this <laughs> game. Like, in all of Zelda. So this this game has like my favorite cast of most Zelda games. I love Irene, I love Gully, I love all the sages. Stranger, do you have the Queen Smooth Gem? Throw it in the pool! Hurry! Yes, I would like to throw it in the pool. The bloat he gets stopped. I <laughs> are you the one who helped me? Thanks to you, I'm free of my pool. That was all rather undignified. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Oren, Queen of the Zoras. I don't know how I came to rely on that troublesome smooth gem, but I do need it, so I thank you so deeply. I am filled with gratitude. Please take these, won't you? I got Zora flippers. Now I can swim. They will allow you to swim and dive, so you may travel the you may travel the rivers and roam the lakes. But my Zoras do consider that their ter that their territory. And while I tell them to get along with people, I have to admit they just don't listen. So be careful out there. Azoras are hostile, and in A Link to the Past, that's how they started. They were very hostile towards Hylians. Another reason, I think that was another, like, thing in Nintendo's mind when they were developing the timeline. Because in Ocarina of Time, obviously, the Zoras, like, serve Hyrule, or they ally with Hyrule, for the most part. In this timeline, they don't. So that was, like, one of the cogs that let them come up with the multiple timeline theory. In this timeline, there's something happened where the Zoras don't like Hylians, or they don't like outside civilization anymore. They also kind of devolve, as I think the, the books kind of say. They progress in evolution, because they become more lizard and amphibious-like.
it's, it's stuff like that that I re why I really like the timeline. It's the little implications that you can come up with. Not just the big steps of which game comes after which. Another heart container. Turbo swim? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well I got the... I got the fins and I got the power gloves, so I can go to both. Both locations now. Yeah. This is also... This was their first response to Skyward Sword's criticism for being linear. This was the very first, like, game after Skyward Sword, so they made it more open. And Rabio's shop is now a rental shop. That, yeah, you buy the items and you can do the dungeons entirely out of order. It's not the format of dungeon item to next dungeon item to, you know what I mean? Speaking of which, I'm gonna go do that now. Yeah, I see his signs everywhere, so his shop must be open. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Welcome back. I still haven't found anywhere else to stay. So I spruce things up in here. Yeah, you moved my bed, you moved all of my shit into the corner. <laughs> I've made it into a nice little shop for myself. Pretty great, isn't it? Yeah, sure, just take- just turn my house into a store. So, I take it things didn't go as planned. But the item I lent you came in handy, right? You know, there's actually plenty more where that came from. Bravio is all about helping heroes. And the way things are going, I think you're going to need my help. You know what they say, you wash my ears, I'll wash yours. <laughs> How about you rent me your- <laughs> How about you rent me your house, and I'll rent you lots of items. Even though I still have to pay for the items, you can't just, you know, it's- Okay. Then it's a deal. I mean, it's not like you ever come here, right? Alrighty then. Here's how my shop works. I rent a wide range of items and weapons to you. And the rental period? That's the best part. You keep rentals for a long time. Specifically until the next time you fall in battle. Which might never happen, right? Sure, you look tough. But if you do fall in battle, my Paul Shiro here will swoop in to collect my property. Yeah, no, he comes- yeah, exactly. If I, if, if I die, he'll come get my- he'll come get his stuff back. And then just leave me. <laughs> Alright, just like that. Swoop right in. Collect my stuff. While you, uh, just lie there. <laughs> so, see anything you want? I've got plenty of gear besides the bow. You find anything you like, just walk up to it and press A. Yeah, in another big part of this game, it recognizes it's very self-aware. <laughs> Right there. I'll come get my stuff while you, uh, just kind of lie there. <laughs> hmm. And yeah, I can rent every item in the game right now if I had enough. Later later on, I buy them and they become permanent, but right now I can rent. Yeah. That's the open-ended... That's their attempt at making the... the Basically the same game, A Link to the Past, but twist it and make it open-ended instead of linear. This is how they did it. I'll take boomerang, and I will take hammer. Oh, I also need shit. I need tornado rod. And I'll take bombs. See you next time. 
I don't know how you rent bombs, but... <laughs> Do not enter. Do not blow up wall. Very strange creature inside. <laughs> this is one of the best characters in the game. <laughs> whoops, whoops. Bibby. You're not busy. It's some mother my my. <laughs> yeah. My oh my, what business have you with Mother My My? Forgive me if my spirits aren't flying so high. We are on a great voyage through all the worlds, my tykes and I. Then I lost sight of my little My Mys, all 100 of my babies, by and by. Could you find all of them? You'll hear my children crying. Cry, Ing, calling for their Mother My My. That was, that was a stretch. <laughs> the forced rhyme. Thanks, Mother My My finds you quite a kind child. Here, take this, it will help you, it will... Here, take this, it will help you know if my tykes are nearby. Oh yes, upon the My My Map, you can, you can surely rely. <laughs> Go on, tap the My My Map icon on your touchscreen. That didn't rhyme. Those numbers tell you how many of my little my mys are in each area. At least until you rescue some, and then it will tell you only how many more you have yet to find. Now please, go and search for all my my mys. <laughs> or my, maybe my my, there's an extra A in there, my my. They call out with such cute chirping sounds, that they must be so sad missing their mother my my. Now, and immediately we see one right here. Here's the baby my mice. <laughs> They're stuck. Aww. They're stuck on walls everywhere, so I gotta get underneath and pop it out. <laughs> and collecting them, uh, she will upgrade items. She makes items stronger. That's fun. It's like the shells in Link's Awakening. I don't know if you remember that, but the, the, the shells in Link's Awakening are the same thing. You collect a certain amount, and then you upgrade. Actually, they're more like pose. They're just like pose. You gather a certain amount, and they unlock, like, milestone rewards. Except here, I think you just you can just upgrade. I think you can only upgrade items you own. You have to buy them from Ravio, then upgrade them with Mother Maya Mai. All right, uh, where's my tornado stick? Tornado rod. The squeak. Yeah. They go. They squeak to the chime. <laughs> ah. Oh yeah, I remember this dungeon like the back of my hand. Damn, I missed this game. <laughs> Oops. I want to start from that side. Oops. 
but yeah, also, probably the best part about this game is everything uses this magic meter, and the magic meter regenerates. So even bombs, bombs aren't numbered. They take this meter, and it regenerates. Yes, and they're, and they're infinite. I don't have to worry about... Really? Yeah. Yep, so I can place three, and I have to wait, but my magic regenerates, and then I have more. Yeah, every item uses the magic meter. There's no, like, number of items. That's fun. And later on, I do <clears throat> uh, improve the magic meter and stuff. like a thing I gotta push up, I think. Maybe I do go that way first. Right, okay. Okay. Oh, it's still not... That's what I was getting confused. Okay. Okay.
Where are you? Are you just slipping? Bastard. this way yet. Maybe I do. The big key. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, I need to go back anyway. <laughs> nope. Or maybe behind. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. When I was cleaning it out, I forgot to put him back. Sorry. Big key is for the boss room. Hmm. Hmm. Of, oh, with the top of the big juice. Nice. <clears throat> 
ça. laundry bin. I want to check the very top. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, they might be they might be on the top. Hmm? I tried to put them. I'm, I'm pretty sure I put them in yours, but could be wrong. Found him. I'm going this way. I say bye bye. Damn it. Hello. 
Get down there. Get down there. the chest is back up there. Shit, wait, there's fairies. Maybe. Um. Fairy? Okay. does slightly more damage. sound effect from A Link to the Past. I never really cued on that. Nope. Oh, thank you.
And we got the water pen or the wisdom pendant. Sweet. Excellent. But with that, I think that's a perfect end to this episode of A Link Between Worlds. Thank you all for watching. We're going to go straight to uh, the red gem. I guess the power gem. Where is that in Death Mountain? Straight for it on the next episode. Thank you guys. See you on the next one.